Welcome back guys. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite things in the world. Tights! I know, I know you guys have been waiting for me to show tights again. Probably just to show my legs. Uh, I have been waiting too and longing for this moment. So let's get into this review. Today we'll just uh, talk a little bit about the features and specs of this pair and then compare them a little bit to the original uh, Always Good Trekking tights and see what the difference is there. Starting from the waist you can uh, immediately see a difference between this pair and the uh, Always Good Trekking tights. That difference is that you have a zipper here in the center uh, with a uh, snap on top so you can open it up and you have also belt loops around the entire waist. Here, instead of that, you have the draw cord here. I like to keep it pretty tight because I feel that they are falling down somewhat easy. It's a little bit more subtle difference is the lack of pockets here, whereas on the normal uh, obvious good trekking tights, you would have two separate pockets here on the male version. So these are more uh, sort of toned down with less uh, bells and whistles all over the place around the waist here. I would say these feel a little bit more like a, a tight and a little less like a, a trouser. And here you got the first leg pocket. So notice that there is no cover from, from debris or anything here. So this is just a quick in and out pocket. Uh, I keep my cell phone here. I think that works great because the pocket is still tight. So it's not like things are gonna fall out, but you can still get a quick and easy access to the things that you um, wanna have a look at from time to time. And if we move over to the right leg, here you can see that you have a little sort of a lid here. So it's even more secure. Maybe you want to keep your map here. It's a perfect size for that or a compass or even your car keys or whatever. So you make sure that nothing will fall out and, and things will not uh, flap around all over the leg here. So that's another nice feature that I really like. And even further down on the leg, you have the uh, reinforcements for your knees. The obviously trekking tights, the normal ones, they also have reinforcements on the knees and on the bum. Uh, they just look a little bit different. And th this is a, a different feel to this material. It's not the same material. So there's a slight difference there. Then at the leg end, it's the same uh, on the norm on the normal obviously trekking tights. It's just it's just an ending, and, and that's it. You can obviously pull them up pretty easy if you like to do that. If you want to get some more ventilation. I like to keep them like this. Tight fit and then you can see the seams here, how they go around the leg. Same from the top. And yeah, I guess there you can see the reinforcements on the butt. So yeah, there you go. All right, so let's just uh, throw up the differences between the Obvious Good Trekking Tights and the Obvious Good Trekking Tights Pro here so you can see the technical specs because I do not remember all of them in my head. So everyone in the right mind is now probably wondering, are there any other benefits except looking really good on the trail? I got you, brother. There is. So I would say that I prefer having something that is not uh, compromising the way I move. I can move freely, I can move lightweight, and um, yeah, there's no need for pockets in that uh, way when I'm going on a longer distance trek. As you guys could tell from the green ribbon that I did as well, I used uh, either shorts or trekking tights for the uh, uh, biggest part of that adventure. For the same reason, they're lightweight, they uh, protect you from wind, a little bit of rain. But another thing to that is that when it's raining, you can easier uh, fit your uh, rain trousers above the tights if you need to do so. And, and that's what I did uh, now when I was in Scotland. So that was a really nice feature that you can still just in and out, uh, on and off, quick and easy. Uh, so that's a really nice thing. And, and yeah, I, I must really stress the, the fact that you don't have, they're, they're very toned down, so you don't have a lot of bells and whistles which allows you to be lighter on your legs because you don't have anything in your pockets except maybe your cell phone or anything or something like that. And the rest is just, you know, all about motion. You can move freely up and down because obviously you're moving your legs, climbing up mountains, going over rocks, going downhill. So it's really nice to be able to move in that way uh, with the tights and the, again, they don't compromise any of your movement and they do look good. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, review. As always, I had a really good time, especially when we were talking about tights. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, um, I went to Scotland to, and I wore the tights there. I, I know those guys, they wear a skirt. So, I mean, it, I felt safe there. And uh, yeah, I didn't get any comments or anything. I know a lot of people, they have a fear of wearing tights. I do not think you should have that. Just uh, come as you are and be who you are and just enjoy hiking and enjoying your free movement. Be Spider-Man. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Take care.